All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Well, I just started taking the roof off the old shed. Now, I did lose uh, all the content for a video I made the other day, so I, if I mentioned this before, I apologize. I can't remember the camera So I'm just starting to take the roof off the old shed. As you can see there, kind of rotted out pretty bad. The problem is I can still smell a skunk. A few days ago, the smell was a lot. I mean, it was strong. Now it's a faint smell. I could smell it as well yesterday. So whether he's just squirting a little bit under there to let me know he's here or not. But I've been beating on the roof a little bit, getting the old plywood off. I guess I'm down there in the ground. I gotta load up in my truck to get rid of it. But we're gonna take the rest of it off here. And it's about to rain. So if I don't get the roof on, I gotta cover it with a tarp, tie it down, so that my stuff in there don't get any wetter than what it already is. So stick around. All right, so let me give you kind of an idea of what's going on here. Over here in this corner was a very nice lilac bush. I took that out and put it over here. Why, you ask? I heard you, you asked why. So my shed is gonna go sideways up against, well, back, it's gonna back up against this fence here. Reason being is it's gonna give me a little more backyard space and a little easier to get in and out of the shed because I got the trampoline here. Trust me, there's a trampoline here. In order to do that, I had to relocate Jen's lilac bush without killing it. It's been day three and it's still alive, so I think we're doing okay. But now what I gotta do is I gotta get the rest of the roof off of this. It's probably easier to move without the roof on it. Still wondering about that skunk underneath. Let's have a look inside here and see what's going on. All right, so we don't have much left going on in here. A couple of snow shovels and some grass seeds, some Christmas ornaments, some oil and gas stuff's in there, but how about that sunroof? Gotta love the sunroof. And true to fashion, I don't nail anything down. I screw it down. So these two by fours here do not want to come off and that's okay. I might be able to reuse those, but. So I'm gonna have to get inside here, pound on the inside of the roof to try and get the rest of the plywood off, get a load up in my truck and get it off to the dump. This is not just a sledgehammer. This is a make you feel like a man moment. Dudes, guys, you know what I'm talking about. That was uh, pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> didn't get to hit anything. All I did was push on the plywood and it came off. Problem is a whole bunch of pieces of plywood. I think went into my neighbor's pool. I'll just plead ignorance. All right, let's get up there and see what we got. All right, so here we are, wide open. Got uh, two by four in the ends got to be replaced. And those two got to be replaced. Other than that, don't look too bad. All right, so I'm about to clean up the rest of the roof here, get it ready for the new roof. Check the weather app and see if it's going to rain anytime soon. Because if it is, I'm just going to tarp it up and wait. But nevertheless, I gotta get it cleaned up. In the meantime, Nate, myself, and Tyler went duck hunting yesterday. Why don't you watch a little bit of footage of that? Cause you don't want to see me pull nails. How exciting is that? Nate was the cameraman. I think he did a pretty good job. And uh, here's a few minutes of us out trying to get some ducks. I was gonna give you a spoiler alert, but but I think I'll hold on. Ducks are gonna be coming from right to left if they're still gonna pattern like they were. We're gonna get set up here, and hopefully we can get a couple down. Stick around. I ran out and they kept going. See, they're just still going. Hang on, hang on, load up again.
So I'm changing what I do. All right, so what'd y'all think of that? I know, a whole lot of shooting, nothing falling. Nate's camera work was pretty good. Uh, Nate, you did a good job on that. Thank you very much. Nothing fell. That's the way the whole night was. We've been uh, shooting at them pretty steady there in that corner. They're getting a little wise. They started to fly a little high and wide, so we're gonna take a week and get. We're gonna throw a little more decoys out, try and get them to stop right in the Y. Anyway, back to the roof on the shed. Have a look. All right, there we are. And today we're going to finish the shed roof. Thankfully it didn't rain last night because otherwise the floor would have got soaked. Still got a problem underneath the shed. I think that may be a skunk. But we got to go get some wood at Home Depot. Uh, probably got to take out a bank loan to get the wood. But it's, I don't know, did the price of wood come down yet? I know it was way up there, but maybe it came back down. We're about to find out. Got a couple other places we got to go to in Chatham as well. So we're going to head over there. Get what we need to get and get home so I can get this done. All right, we just stopped in Walmart to pick up a couple of things. And we buy a three pack of bacon. And it's been $15.97 for the past year. Today, $20. Price is going up, folks. Also at Home Depot, I got the wood that I needed. That was not bad. Price came down on the wood. back home I got to cut I think six two by fours 57 inches with an 18 degree angle which is going to cover the peak on the top you'll see it'll work don't worry you don't sweat it'll work famous last words Alright guys, so I cut one too many studs. That's better than being one short. So here's what I got. So right there, studs all tied down. Now that'll take one full sheet of plywood to cover the entire top. And then another eight inch piece across the back. We should be good. Then I'm going to put the tar paper down and then the shingles. I don't think I'm going to get to that today though. It's sort of a little dark on me here. I'm going to fall off my ladder here. Okay, so All right, one sheet of plywood's on. I got that uh, eight inch strip at the back there to put on yet. On the front, I'm going to cut some 12 inch pieces of 2x4 to come out here. I'll just make a small awning in the front here. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys an update. It's a bit of work up and down with the camera and moving it here, moving it there. I got to get it done. So here's what we got with the overhang. So I decided to go a 20 inch overhang as opposed to a 12. A 12 is just going to look too small. Coming along, coming along. 
<laughs> Finally. Let me put some chickens in it. I guess, uh, you let me know, because not only is it going to be storage, I'd also like to get some pigeons. When I was younger, I used to raise pigeons. And uh, I'm thinking about trying that again. Maybe Ella would like to do something like that. I don't know. Let me know. But chickens are against the bylaw. Laws. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get back at it. All right, guys, just a bit of a pro tip. What I should have done, rather than toenailing these pieces in over here, there, wherever, up there, I should have got a 1x6, screwed these to the 1x6, and then screwed the entire 1x6 to the top. That would have been a lot easier. Or a 1x4. 1x4 probably would have been better because I'm using 2x4s. <sighs> Let me learn. I knew better, I just didn't think of it. I get uh, this end piece here tied in a little bit better. It's a little crooked, but you know, we can see it from the street as far as I'm concerned. All right, guys, I got to pack it in. The rain has fallen, darkness is falling. I'm going to show you real quick what I got done here. Raindrops on my lens here, so there's the uh, overhang on the front. And we got plywood on the roof. So tomorrow's job, you all come back tomorrow. You'll be back here in about 10 seconds for me, it'll be tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go get some shingles. I've already got the tar paper. i get some staples and some roofing nails. All right, now we'll be done. All right, guys, I've been chased by the rain all day. Oh, welcome back. It's obviously the next day. Been chased by the rain all day long. As you can see, the, the deck is wet. I got to get the shed done. Well, the shed is done. I didn't set up any cameras because one, I don't want to lose them to the rain. And two, I had to get it done. Anyway, have a look. All right, so the uh, front fascia there is going to get a nice piece of trim on it. I have to do the underside as well. And I'm also going to cover these support pieces right here to the roof. There we go. All right, now some of you may notice that there's no overhang on the side. The reason for that is, and I debated putting an overhang on it, but I do have metal flashing that goes underneath and down the sides, and it's, it shouldn't leak. Keyword shouldn't, but it's done. It's finally done. Well, not really, I guess. I gotta put the fascia on the front and the underside, but, but for the most part, the roof is done. My old ass ain't taking that up there. All right, so that's it for the shed build or the uh, chicken coop or pigeon coop or just a catch-all build. She ain't gonna let me get any chickens, is she? Chickens, maybe. Pigeons, probably not. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. And folks, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. We'd love to have you along. Until the next one, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Just not climbing on a roof. Later. This is not just a sledgehammer. This is a make you feel like a man moment.